Hey, my name is Stix and welcome back to your weekly gotcha recap, a video series where we go over the latest news, pre-registrations, new releases, test phases, juicy drama, everything that happened in the gotcha genre over the course of the last week in one easy to digest format. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the little notification bell. That way you remain up to date with every single thing that I post and I post daily. Do not miss out. And we have a lot to talk about, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. First, Nike is holding their Evangelion collab. This rolled out just a couple days ago. Right now, there is one character that you can recruit. I believe the character is Asuka. I completed all of story one so far. I've been having a lot of fun. I haven't rolled for her, admittedly, because I'm not sure how she's going to ultimately fit into my team composition or who's going to potentially even work with her or be better than her or if she's even worthwhile but this is an Evangelion collab and I really want to given I, I wasted uh, several hundred dollars I think uh, attempting to obtain A2 and 2B when the near collab was ongoing and I, I still have no regrets. Gamescom 2024 is still I think in progress maybe it's finished i don't either way i i don't watch it but i do keep up to date with the awards aspect of it of which genshin impact zenless zone zero and i guess monster hunter now were three very strong contenders this isn't like most game shows where the total games are pulled from everything that is currently released and available rather you essentially if i recall and correct me if i'm wrong here you buy into these awards which makes them i think a little bit less of an achievement i think the main achievement here is going to be what happens at the game awards later this year that is something more official regardless the game awards have awarded genshin impact the title of the best mobile game available or at least available out of the five given contenders that wasted money on this <laughs> it did beat out zenless zone zero which i know a lot of people were not too pleased with i'll talk about this a little bit more in a video i'm gonna post tomorrow either way congratulations genshin you earned it speaking of genshin genshin impact is finally coming to xbox if this image is to be believed which leaves me wondering what is going to happen with their exclusivity deal with sony and playstation either way i think this is just going to open up the game to even more players helping the game grow even further increase hoyo's reach and their revenue by even larger amounts which is crazy because they're already the biggest gotcha studio out there and one of if not the highest grossing most played gotcha games in the world now backtracking a little bit to zenless zenless has confirmed that they are going to be attending pax west 2024 for attending the booth you get a variety of different rewards i'm not sure what they're going to preview at pax west i do know that it is taking place on the 30th of august through the 2nd of september another game that is there at gamescom that will also be attending pax west is arc knights enfield now they have been posting a little bit of activity over on Twitter recently. They posted a, not necessarily a recap, but something to look forward to. They had a bunch of very attractive cosplayers, guys, girls doing a phenomenal job in incredibly attractive getups. They are recreating the characters phenomenally. You gotta give it to them. These studios, these cosplayers, they know how to properly depict these characters in a real form. And like, I, I honestly, it does <laughs> for me, like I struggle to recreate Vegeta in his Saiyan outfit. So <laughs> I, I got to give him credit there. Either way, Arc Knight Tenfield is one of my most anticipated upcoming gacha games. And I can't wait to see what they reveal further reveal at games comment then at PAX West. Before I discuss any additional games, let me take a moment here to thank my incredible patrons over on Patreon and my YouTube channel members for allowing for me to continue to do dedicated videos like this every single day. You guys are phenomenal, and I can't thank you all enough for the support. Now let's keep talking. ReZero Witch's Resurrection is confirmed to be releasing on August 26. This is not a game that I'm interested in, but will probably stream anyway because it is essentially my job. I... <laughs> I the amount of ReZero games that have come out is insurmountable. I I feel like more than any other game, more than any other anime, any other property in general, 
ReZero has more collabs, more spin-offs, more adaptations than anything. I don't understand why. Snowbreak's latest update was rejected from the Google Play Store. So for the last 48 hours or more, players that play via the Android haven't been able to update the game. The Snowbreak team have been urging players to either play via the an Apple device or play via PC because right now the game is considered to be too lewd for Google to allow the update to go through. Now they did get past Apple, but apparently whatever new outfits, whatever new characters are coming with this update were just, there was just too much shown. It was just too explicit. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll actually be covering this in a little bit more detail in tomorrow's video too. Either way, it is hilarious because apparently there is a limit in terms of how degenerate a gacha can be. Animal Crossing Pocket Camp has announced their end of service. The game is officially going down November 28th. They'd like to express their deepest gratitude to everyone who has supported the title since the service began. I didn't even know this was a game. It's apparently a Pocket Camp app. I don't know what that is. Either way, Animal Crossing is very big, so I'm kind of... Surprised that this happened. Horizon Walker is officially launching on the 29th of August, which is next week, later this week, six days from now as of recording. I think it's like Wednesday, right? No, it's Friday. It's Friday, apparently. Tomorrow, or what, the day of posting, Saturday. Yeah, it's coming next week on the 29th for those of you that are interested. Another game that is coming. Night Archives have officially opened the test servers for their game. Very little is known about this game right now, unless, of course, you got into and tested the game. I didn't myself, but this still does look like it could be fairly fun. The graphics are very nice from what I've seen. Ash Echoes is currently recruiting for a global closed beta test. This is something I'm interested in. Not necessarily the other game, but this one definitely. They describe themselves as a multiverse, real-time tactical RPG. And from the gameplay I've seen, it, it definitely doesn't look bad. And it's definitely something that I would probably be interested in playing. Wuthering Waves has officially rolled out their Depths of the Elusive Realm Carnival. The event duration or the event began on the 22nd of August, which is just yesterday or the day before as of this video going live, and runs through the 23rd of the 9th. From what I've seen from other players, especially on Reddit, this is so much better than they had expected that they'd given it credit for. So I'm excited to see what it has to offer. Dragon Raja Castle's Gate has released a trailer for the public beta announcement. The beta test in specific is going live in China on September 12th. For those of you that are interested in potentially getting in and playing another version of Dragon Raja. Earlier we discussed Gamescom's Game Awards. There is another one going on, Pocket Gamers Mobile Game Awards. This is much smaller in scale, but it's still a big, large event. There were several winners here. That wasn't just Genshin. We had, interestingly enough, Wuthering Waves, which won the best audio visual accomplishment. I think that in terms of audio, I don't think that's the case. I think Honkai Star Rail has better audio, but in terms of visual, the visual component here, I think Wuthering Waves is definitely the better of the two. So. I know some people are upset that they got audio visual when they didn't realize that there is that visual component to this. Honkai Star Rail won the best storytelling that is 100% deserved. Hoyoverse won the best developer 2024. <laughs> I know people just, they stared at that like, really? Really? And then Monopoly Go won game of the year. That definitely threw people off. N not Wuthering Waves, not Zenless Zone Zero, not Honkai Star Rail, not AFK Journey, no. Monopoly Go. Cat Fantasy has officially, as of the last 48 hours, launched. I've been streaming this over on Twitch and the YouTube channel. If you're interested, I'm gonna be streaming day two live at like around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a few hours. If you're interested in whether or not you should play, come on over, take a look at what the game's like, ask me whatever questions you want. Infinity Nikki has opened recruitment for their reunion playtest. This is gonna take place on the PC and mobile platforms. You can sign up by clicking the link that is on their Twitter and across all their different social media platforms. Mrs. Six has applied for this. I haven't because I'll just watch her do it. Maybe I should apply just in case I get in just so she can play it, I guess, and do a video on it. 
I don't know even know if this is my style of game, but I guess I probably should play it. A friend of mine, Ufi TV, she really liked the game from what she told me. And finally, you can also pre-register for the game on Android and iOS right now. So go and do that if you're anticipating the game. Now that is everything that happened in the Gacha genre over the course of the last week. If none of this is of any interest to you, absolutely no problem. I got you covered two different videos on screen right now. There might be more up your alley.